right-hander set. The one-two pitch to Edgar Martinez. Swung on line drive right down the right field. Hit the base hit. Here comes Diaz to score. Around the third base is Joey Cora. They will hold him there on an amazing double by Edgar Martinez for just one moment. I thought it was going to happen again. But they held Joey Cora up at third base, and we are tied at 2-2. Two, two. My, oh, my. Now the right-hander ready. And the 0-2 pitch on the way. The knuckleball swung on and belted and get out the line, Brad, and the mustard grab off. It is Grand Salami time. My, oh, my. Oh, Toronto has hit two Grand Slam home runs, both against knuckleballers and one that counts. And the one that counts comes here in the fifth game of 1995. The left-hander Hitchcock, who has yet to give up a hit, looks in and has the stretch. And the pitch on the way to Vaughn. There goes Carr. The pitch is inside. Throw through the second base on the money. And they nail He is hung out to dry. And Dan Wilson is two for two this afternoon. What a throw by Dan Wilson. Low pitch on the way. And it swung on. And a ground ball hit to Alex Rodriguez. Backhand. He goes to Core for one. Core on a long double play. What a great To his right, backhand of the ball through a strike to Cora, and Cora a perfect BB right on to Rich Amaral, two out. The 1 1 pitch to Wallach on the way, swing and a miss, and the bat goes all the way out to Alex Rodriguez at shortstop, and he feels that flawlessly, too. Bounced about four or five times, picked it right up, and gives it to the Angel Bat Boy. So, what a night it has been! A little baseball delicacy here in the 13th game of the year. The Mariners down 9-1, one, one, one strike away from their most improbable victory in their history. The 1-2 pitch on the way, swinging a ground ball, hit wide at third, picked off by Davis. The throw to first, and the Mariners have done it! And the 0-1 on the way by Norman, and a fastball swung on, lined into right field for a base hit. Here comes JT around third. The throw to the plate, it is going to be in time! And Marzano hangs on to the ball! My, oh my, what a throw by Buehler! Johnson. Into his motion, the 2-2 pitch to Tim. Swing and a shot fair. One hopper picked up by Russ Davis. Who throws it out? My, oh, my. What a play by Russ. That could have eaten him alive. 1-2 pitch to Dan on the way. Swung on and built it. Get off the right, Brad. And the mustard grab off. It is Brad Salami time. My, oh, my. Dan the man with his fifth home run has broken. Here's the pitch to Edgar Martinez on the way. Swung on and belt to deep to left field. And that will fly, fly away. And the Mariners have broken their back here in the seventh inning. It is now 10-3. to Buhner hits a tee shot to dead center field. Curtis goes away back to the track for wall. That will fly away. Buhner goes dead central. And the round is on. It is 11-3. Mariners. To Edgar, swung on and hit into the gap in left center field. That's going to get down for another double. That's going to break Alvin Davis's mark. It's going to tie the game as Edgar goes into second base, standing up, and we are tied at 2 2. The pitch swung on and belted. Deep to right field, Junior has hit it out, and the Mariners have two more. And Junior is four away from 200. The Mariners lead it 5 to 1. And Eric Gantz into his wind. The 3-1 pitch to Edgar. Swung on and a fly ball into deep center field. Mix into the track. The wall fly away. Up to the aisle way, actually. Dead center field seats and fans reaching over trying to get it. And they dropped it. That was a mammoth. No pitch to Junior. Swung on and belted. And Junior is three away. Fly away. Over the American League side of the scoreboard. The second time. So here is the wind in the pitch on the way to Edgar. Swung on and belted to left field. And Edgar has hit another one out. The home run derby is on. Unbelievable. My, oh my, it is eight to two.
that that's before the gates were open. And uh, the Mariners took batting practice, and the Baltimore Orioles came out, and uh, it looked like we were going to play the game. And then all of a sudden, the second tile fell and the third tile fell, and they decided to not play that game. You know what happened after that. Sure. Well, they started falling all over the place. But, but the one good thing about the kingdom is that it doesn't appear that anything at all has fallen. Of course, there are no more tiles in the ceiling. Yes. Uh, that's a, it's a sprayed foamy situation up there now. It's an acoustic situation, so there are no tiles to fall. But I noticed the Cleveland Indians, when they were walking off, obviously, were working, looking straight up to see if anything was going to fall down. <laughs> and uh, as of right now, why nothing has fallen. And there's still a lot of people in the kingdom. I, I'm not sure that's a wise decision. Well, I noticed that a lot of people have stayed there. Did you notice that people had left, though, or did everybody oh, yes, just seem because, to say, I mean, I, I walked down, of course, when anything like this happens while the elevators, I, I assume, are inoperative. I never even went to an elevator. Right. And uh, walked all the way down the ramps, and people are... Oops, I think we uh, we kicked off the wrong one. We kicked off Dave Niehaus. Dave, if you can still hear me, hope you'll call back. We're having a few trouble with our lines. We're trying to get in as many reporters as we possibly can. Uh, I'll call this game and ask everybody to... Oh, I see a lot of people uh, leaving now. I'm wondering if they have, in fact, called the game and ask everybody to leave as orderly as possible. This game has been suspended, which means it'll have to be picked up when we don't know. We don't know if it's going to be picked up 5.30 tomorrow. We receive uh, the information that it will be picked up at 5.30 tomorrow. And we can only assume that it will still be in the kingdom, barring uh, an inspection, I would assume, exactly. of the facility <laughs> later on. The irony, of course, Dave, is that uh, we were just talking about, in terms of the Seahawks and as a sports facility, uh, how well the kingdom would hold up if, in fact, we had a tremor like this. That's pretty ironic. Well, it, it, it appears to be uh, fine, to tell you the truth. I mean, just, you know, from looking at it with the naked eye, and then this, uh, this, this crowd now is beginning to leave, but uh, uh, they say they're going to pick it up at uh, 5.30 tomorrow. Could it be a possibility that we are actually uh, witnessing a first in the Dave Nehal career that during a baseball broadcast this is the first earthquake you've actually gone through oh no 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 i went through the earthquake down in los angeles in 1970 when we had to evacuate the san fernando valley so i've been through several earthquakes but yes. this certainly is the first earthquake i've been through at a baseball game and in, in the kingdom yes yeah uh, well we really appreciate you you coming back on the air with us dave and All right. if you have any more information please let us know otherwise we'll talk with you tomorrow during okay. the ball game okay bill thank you thank you very much dave niehaus of course the voice of the seattle mariners uh who immediately Immediately upon uh, realizing that it was an earthquake, decided he was going to evacuate the kingdom and uh, thinks it's wise that everybody else do as well. Sorrento on the pitch to Sorrento. Oh, Belfin! Deep to right field, upper deck time! Yes! And a two-run home run by Paul Sorrento, and the Mariners are up 7 to nothing. Now the southpaw set. And the 2-2 pitch to Junior. Swung on and belted deep to right field. Back is O'Leary to the track. Fly away, number 200 for Junior. And it's over the bullpen, and the Mariners take the lead. 8-5 over the Boston Red Sox. Second to the runner at second. Here it comes, and it's swung on and lined in the left field for a base hit. Bragg will play it on a hop. They're going to try and score Lewis. The throw to the plate is going to be in front of time. And Lewis is out. He came in standing up and Wilson braced himself and held onto the ball. My, oh my! What a throw by Darren Bragg. Here's the 1-0 pitch on the way, and Boggs fouls it down the left field line. A long, long run for Darren Bragg over the mound. In the front of the mound, dives and makes a miraculous catch! My, oh my, can that little guy play left field? Very similar to the one that he made at Fenway Park in Boston only two nights ago. Unbelievable catch by Darren Bragg. And the two-strike pitch to Edgar. Swung on, line drive, base hit down the left field line toward the corner. Here comes Alex Rodriguez. Here comes Junior Steven around third. This is game six all over again. The throw to the plate, not in time. My, oh my. It is four to nothing exactly like game six. Would you believe it? One-two pitch to Junior now. Swung on and belted deep to right. And that is the sixth time that a man Comes the stretch. And the 2 0 -oh pitch on the way now. Edgar belts the ball deep to left field. And that will fly, fly, fly away into the second deck in left field. My, oh my, what a shot by Edgar. I don't know how many guys have been up there in the upper deck in left field. 
Schrader, I know, is one. John Schrader, Ron Kittle, Gary Matthews, Jose Canseco, Steve Balboni, and now Edgar Martinez. He becomes only the sixth Mariner in history to get to the upper deck in left field. What a shot by Edgar Martinez. Three to nothing, Mariner. Say, friends, don't forget to listen for the names of today's uh, lucky million-dollar baseball magic winners, which we'll announce at the end of the ball game. We'll pick one name for each Mariner run scored. So stay tuned and enter your ballot today at participating Safeway stores. No purchase necessary. We head to the top of the fourth inning. Mariners lead the Yankees 4-1, to and for the play-by-play, here's Randy Johnson. Excuse me, here's Dave. <laughs> okay. i just waiting for Randy Johnson to take the baton and run away. <laughs> Dino Martinez will step in and lead it off here in the fourth inning. He popped out to Doug Strange in left field. We are visiting with uh, Randy Johnson. A pitch on the way and swung on and belt it. Deep to left field and we are tied. My, oh my. Buter on the first pitch from McDowell. It's in way out of here. Junior, that bat cock. Myers set. The 2 0 pitch on the way to him now. Swung on and a fly ball hit the deep center field. Back is Anderson into the track. The wall fly away. Junior has tied it at 8 8 as that ball got up over the track. Almost into the red seat. The left hander is set. Here comes the 3 2 pitch to Ross. Swung on and drilled deep to right field. Moving back. Is Devereaux to the wall? Manners are going to win it as Russ Davis takes him off the fence. And in the score is Jay Buter. Unbelievable. My, oh, my. Russ Davis, who made the error, allowed the right hand run to score for Baltimore. Single eye off the wall in right field. And the Mariners have come back from the dead and beaten Baltimore 9-8 to eight in maybe the most exciting game of the year. 1-1 one, one pitch to Ken Griffey Jr. The curve belt it deep to right field. And we are caught at five times. My, oh my, Jr. Now Uncle Charlie and Pat Tudor into the upper deck. And just like that, the Mariners are back even at five bucks. On the way, swung on and a fly ball hit deep to right field. Malibay looks up and will fly away. Alex Rodriguez has given the Mariners an eight. Line drive down the left field line, and it's going into the corner on a hop off the base of the wall. Darren Bank picks it up. The throw to second base, and it's going to be in time. They got it. Another tremendous throw by Darren Bragg to Joey Cora. That ball came right back off the bottom of the wall to Darren Bragg, and they nailed Daring going for the double. What a throw by Mr. Bragg. And McCarthy said, here comes the pitch on the way to Greeny now. A swing and a line drive. Base hit right center field, I think. No, Junior makes an amazing catch. That will save a run. Maybe two runs. Junior doesn't make that sliding catch. It gets by him. And we've got a brand new ball game. On the national television. But uh, the great one is only one away now. David, how do you feel, buddy? I feel How's great. to be back. I feel great. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine. Oh, God. I'm fine. Kevin's just, uh, you know, over there living in. The 1-0 pitch on the way to Ripken. Swung on. Ground ball. Base hit. No! Alex Rodriguez dives. Straightens up and throws him out. That's how sharply that ball was hit. And A-Rod turns in a spectacular play to deny Cal Ripken Jr. I'll say it's different than 1977. Two pitch on the way to Alex Rodriguez now. Swung on and a high fly ball into the deep left center field. Going back Anderson. Crazy to the track. He's to the wall. Play! 